We could actually use another woodcutter's lodge almost. <laughs> We're not getting wood fast enough. Or upgrade it once we get the stone. Speaking of stone, how expensive is that? Oh, that's an advanced building. Right. Just 50, so that's not too much. How much food can we store without a silo? 500. Well, we weren't anywhere close to 500 at any point. So, next stamp, mine. How do we actually get here? Do we have to go all the way around? It looks that way. Through this swamp, as far as I can tell, and then all the way around. Alright. Oh, the 200 bonus is nice. 150 food, wood, and crowns, and plus 10 stone. Speaking of stone, there's the mine. Thirty-five remaining stone in the area, and one building requires ten. So that's going to be enough to upgrade three buildings. So we can move one to each region. We can also slaughter them, but that's not going to be necessary, I don't think so. And that will reduce the wood requirements during the winter by 20%. 80 food if we slaughter them. So 240 if we slaughter them all. <laughs> Okay, what can we grab next? Silos gain a 10% food production bonus and you gain plus one happiness per silo. Increases your healer's healing speed by 50%. Healers will gather food when they are not healing. I like that one. We can also get extra crowns from skulls. I like medicine, let's get that one. Speaking of which, let's go attack something. How many wolves is this? Three? Alright, let's just kill them because they will probably attack us at some point when we are away. That wouldn't surprise me too much. There, done. I don't think I want to colonize this particular region. Oh no, there are fish in here. If we want even more food. Which I suppose we do if we want more population. No slaughtering the fluff? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm not slaughtering them.
New title, Thane. Plus 150 food, wood and crowns. And plus 10 stone. So now we could upgrade something. Oh, first we need to upgrade the town hall. Fair enough. Increases maximum population by plus 2 and population growth by 20%. Alright then. Our scout has died while exploring a new area. Well, what good is he then? Once that's upgraded, we can upgrade actual buildings. Winter time, we got 230 food saved up. That should be enough. And we can grab another fisherman hut in our brand new region. Should be okay, we got enough wood saved up, I imagine. Yeah, it's pretty much Wolf Island. <laughs> you are right, that's what it is, more or less. So, how about we get a carved stone to grab more lore? That seems like a good idea. Especially since we have circle of stones. Right, but they will increase the lore gains in this region by 10%. Does it say anywhere how long we have to wait for winter to end? I don't think it does. Well, you can kind of see it visually because it's moving. But we can't see how long exactly that will take. Like one minute, five minutes? Okay, full health, but let's wait for winter to end. We could kill that bear and check out the ruin. He has 80 health. Our warrior has 50, Brand has 25. That should be fine. 13 resistance. So he has higher resistance than our Brand. But lower attack power. There. Alright, let's move. So, since we have a bonus to Skulls... Uh, actually, no, we don't. We have a bonus to Healers. But I wouldn't mind another Skulls to increase our happiness. So, let's upgrade that. And assign one more. That leaves us with 10 more stone, still. So let's keep an eye on this fight. Yeah, it's fine. No, it's not the first time I'm playing Northgard. I played it during early access a few months ago. It's unusual. But I haven't played since then. Which is why I'm doing it now.
Oh wait, there are still hostile units here. I'm not seeing them. No, there aren't. Oh, we didn't colonize the Blake area, right. I thought we did, apparently not. Never mind. Just grab it right away. And we got another upgrade. Reduces firewood consumption during winter by 50%. Increase food production by... Yeah, thanks. I was reading that. You know, it's not nice to interrupt people when they're busy. Increase food production by plus two for each silo. We don't really have any right now. Instead, we could get plus one crowns from skulls, especially Aww. since we got three of them now. Depleted deposits. That didn't take long. So now these guys are unemployed. No problem, we'll give you something to do. Okay, we have enough stone to upgrade one building. Since that requires 10 stone. We could upgrade healer's hut. But right now I'm not even working the second slot, so maybe not. There's the fisherman hunt. We still got some time before winter, it's only June at the moment. This looks like a pretty nasty area actually. <laughs> Let's kill one or two of these guys, but maybe withdraw. No, I think we're fine. It's fine. Bye bye. Colonize this area to gain 50 fame. Oh, nice. We will definitely do that. Maybe after winter time. I don't want to run out of food again. That would be bad. It is only July, but 200 food is a lot to colonize that. Might not be a bad idea to upgrade fields or something like that. Each block is a minute. Oh, good to know, thanks. And each year lasts 12 minutes. Winter is 3 minutes. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, thanks. expensive is the silo anyway? Where is that? Right here. Not very expensive. 100 wood. Well, it could have been worse, I guess. Oh, there's an iron deposit in here. I missed that earlier. Yeah, I can see it on the minimap. So that's definitely worth colonizing ASAP. We are pop. Uh, we are captain population. Not a whole lot of space left for houses, actually. And we might as well demolish the quarry since. The deposit is depleted anyway, there's no point keeping the quarry. 
is just taking space. We should get a silo, because we might actually hit 500. Just build it out of the way. And another upgrade. Increases Loremaster production by 20%. Okay. Reduces building's upgrade costs by 20%. We don't really need that one. We could also increase all our military units' attack power. But for now, let's improve our lore masters. And we can get a blessing. Reduces loss of food production during winter by 30%. You gain free happiness. 20 stone and 10 iron. Let's reduce food loss produ food production loss during winter because that penalty is pretty damn harsh. There's the food silo. So now we can start up to 800. And we are producing 17. It should be fine to colonize this, especially with the blessing. We still have around one minute. I played a lot of settlers back in the day. Especially like the first one, you know, the very first settlers. Man, that was a really long time ago. <laughs> now when I think about it. Now that iron deposit. Let's take advantage of it, shall we? How much iron is there in here? 15. Did I play Settlers on the channel? No, I did not. But if I end up doing Retro Day, which I almost certainly will, I might play it here on Twitch, maybe. There are a lot of old games I would play as part of a Retro Day. Retro streaming day, that is. Actually, hold on, let's maybe not attack two birds during winter. That's not a good idea at all. We are actually still producing food during the winter. Nice. Okay, one more miner. We are actually going to run out of wood at this rate. <laughs> yep, we are going to hit zero. I guess we'll just get another camp. Once winter is over. Oh, the backlist is actually pretty small. Minus three because we're freezing. Oh, and the house is still waiting for a builder. Okay, no problem. You know what we should build by now? A marketplace. 
should have built that a little bit earlier, but better late than never, I guess. You mean this game? That's Northguard. 1.0 now. Minus 8. Okay, that's pretty harsh. Yep, we are sick. Well, hey, we do have a healer. What's going on? Did they get killed? Hey, I'm trying. <laughs> I can't really go any faster. Especially with how far away they are. They are, like, super far away. So the next region with wood is right here. As in, with an actual wood production bonus. I don't think I'm going to wait for that. This one doesn't seem to have a forest, even though it kind of looks that way. Plus seven is a little bit low. We can build another woodcutter's lodge in the same area, right? They aren't capped on just one building. Uh, one building of the same type per area. Can't upgrade it, unfortunately. Because we don't have enough stone. Just waiting for 50 wood right now. Alright, let's attack. We'll kill the birds. Kind of hard to target that guy. Yeah, I'm trying to target that other warrior. Yep, just like that. So that the bear will stop mowing him. <laughs> you should get some food for killing a bear, like seriously. There we go, it's all fine. Now we need to heal ourselves. A little bit. We might get something useful from the ruin. So, yep, let's just colonize it. And we have to keep colonizing in this general direction. We are still several regions away. And another bonus. Yeah, how about military attack bonus? Here. New title, Jarl. Upgraded buildings gain additional 10% production bonus. Yep, that is useful. Now we need a quick scout. And let's check this out. See if we get anything useful from that. Also, we don't need the iron mine anymore. We mined all of the iron, right? Yes, we did. <laughs> Just convert them back to villagers for now. Now, back to wood production. Yeah, we can't build second woodcutter's lodge in the same exact area, even though there's still one, two more building slots available in there. <laughs> Makes sense, I suppose, but I was hoping we will be able to. We'll just build it elsewhere. The only real effect is that it will not have the bonus. Here is fine.
Okay, going to heal our big guy first. Since we have to keep clearing towards our actual objective a little bit faster. Otherwise, we might actually fail this. They are quite far away. Also, another military building or two probably wouldn't hurt. But first, wood. Let's see what we can get from the ruins. Come on, hurry up. There it is. 200 crowns and 100 lore, alright? Now, what about some military buildings? Axe thrower camp. Let's get done. And we can focus a little bit more on, on our military now. Explore that. And another bonus. Reduces marketplace prices by 30%. Well, we should probably grab a marketplace by now. Your military units no longer have reduced power during winter. Increases civilians attack. We do have one silo. But that's not a huge production bonus, to be honest. Okay, I will be building a marketplace, so we'll get a marketplace discount. I don't think that was very expensive. Last I checked. Yeah, there it is. Only 80 wood. That's fine. Now we'll actually be able to buy stuff. <laughs> okay, one more axe thrower. I wonder if this would be enough to finish everything, as in actually finish the main objective. Maybe. We'll try. We can still get a shield bearer's camp. That's only 50 wood. Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's do that. I'd like to finish this already. Here's the marketplace. Now we'll be able to buy wood and food when necessary. Or even some stone later on. We got 100 crowns and 50 lore, okay? Hey, what do you think you're doing? These guys might even be able to handle that wolf on their own. Yeah, they can certainly do that. Shilberer. This is probably going to be a bit of an overkill, I imagine. But whatever, I like overkill. This might be enough, but before we leave, how about we take care of these walls so that they won't attack us while we are gone? That would be nice. That's a lot of wolves over here. Anything else left to explore? Not much. Winter time. Minus nine food. I think we have enough saved. 
it's kind of hard to judge. Might be enough. If we run out, we can always just buy food now, since we have the marketplace. Fifty-six crowns to buy two stone. Am I into tycoon games? I play them from time to time, yeah. Do you have any game in particular in mind? One wolf, how cute. Alright, you know what, I'm not going to wait for spring, let's just attack. It's not like this penalty is going to matter much, when we are going to overkill them so much. Yeah, it doesn't matter, like, at all. So this is a dead end, we just need to go through the swamp. This should be fine. Yep, it's over, kid. <laughs> he went down pretty quickly, I'm just saying. Did I play Theme Hospital? Oh yeah, I did, quite a lot. And yes, I saw they are doing a remake now. Quite looking forward to that. But it's probably still like a year away. Poor bird. <laughs> I don't even think we need to go back and heal. We'll probably be fine like this. Okay, maybe try to not lose units if not needed. We'll send this guy back to heal. Yep, might as well do that. We are slightly in negative happiness, but that shouldn't matter too much. There, spring already, so we lost the attack penalty. Yeah, yeah, we are coming. We are literally already here. Don't die on me, bro. I think we are almost done now. <laughs> All we have to do is just kill the wolves. Yeah, bloated head was pretty funny. There were a lot of funny things in that game. I think we're pretty much done, unless there's something else here. Are we done yet? Or is there more? Oh, there are a few more, right. Like literally one. He just spawned from the den. And this fella. It looks like we killed most of the wolves. There we go, it's done. Nice. Right? He pledged his allegiance to us. Victory! 